conversation with my son. I'm allowing him to do flag football, and that's it. Son, I am not letting you play football because I know the injuries. I will let my son play football, but first off, um, I will educate him on the game. You know, educate him on like what I went through, and I truly believe that anything, you know, any injury that you you, you receive is is fixable. Though, I mean, I went through yeah. it. I had nine surgeries. Probably had like 20 concussions in my life. Like no lie, probably like I remember like five like blackout ones. Like but you I don't said remember. You had a and pint of blood drained from your body after the Super Bowl because of internal bleeding. Yes, because of internal bleeding. But uh, like I said, I'm I'm fixed. Subscribe. Um, so all these rumors have been coming out that people are thinking Gronk is gonna come back and play. He did the eye emoji on his Twitter a couple of nights ago when um, after the Patriots traded Demarius Thomas and of course they acquired Antonio Brown. Uh, I guess like they're gonna form some super team. Um, he's lost like 25 pounds since he retired during the off season. He's down to like 240. He's like skinny Gronk now. So people are starting to think, oh, he's going to come back in like week eight and he's going to finish the season and win another Super Bowl. But I really don't think he has nothing else to gain. Yeah, you'll get a fourth ring if you do it. But he's got three. It's not like he never won anything and he has so much to gain, like an Antonio Gates, a Jason Witten, a, a, a Gonzalez, guys who are all-time great just like him that never won any. He's got three. I don't think he's that greedy to win another championship. I think he uses it as like marketing. He knows it, it's entertaining for people to think that he might come back, but I don't think he is. And I think if you watch that interview, uh, similar to his interview where he got emotional a couple of weeks ago promoting the CBC uh, oil, you know, where he's now involved in like the marijuana, uh, you know, for, for pain relief business. This guy said he had almost he had 20 concussions. That's on hand on, on count. Uh, probably more than that. Maybe. I don't know. But that's a lot. <laughs> And I think he should donate his brain to science, kind of like Warren Sapp said he's going to do. Chris Nowinski and the CTE scientists and all of that. I mean, that's ridiculous. A guy who's had that many concussions and he says five blackouts should not be playing football. This is a guy who had nine surgeries and wasn't even... The doctors told him he shouldn't even played football because he had already had like two back surgeries before he even played in the NFL coming out of college. Tore his arm uh, in 2012, broke his forearm, tore his ACL in 2013, had another back surgery, I believe, after the 2014 season. I mean, he's he looked like Frankenstein last year. He was my favorite player to watch on offense the last 10 years. Kind of like the, the shack of tight ends. The most dominant tight end of all time physically. Might not have the pizzazz that Gonzalez had or uh, the, the, you know, all of this, the speed and all of the other shit. But Gronk dominated like nobody else. But his body took a price for it, so... I mean, 20 concussions, five blackouts, nine surgeries. I don't think Gronk is coming back. But you got some people who they really look at these NFL players like they're robots and they're not human beings. Can you imagine how that man feels some mornings when he gets up out of bed and he's only 30? <sighs> Dog. <laughs> God bless him. God bless him. And I don't, I don't think he should come back. I would love to see him come back. I don't know if he could get back to that dominant player that he was a few years ago because last year he was just a solid tight end and a really damn good blocker but um he is you know about 25 pounds lighter but uh for for personal reasons i don't think he should come back he has nothing to gain uh ultimately yeah you, the fourth ring is better than three but you really don't need it unless you're really that greedy it would be more beneficial to the patriots getting that seventh ring and being the all-time franchise with the most super bowls than it would for him you know, is it really that important for him to come out there and put his body on the line for another Lombardi? Because that benefits New England more than it benefits Gronk. He's already a first ballot Hall of Famer regardless with just three rings. So I don't think he should come back, but a lot of people still think he is. But I honestly want to know, does anybody, after seeing that interview, do you really think he's going to come back and, and put it all on the line after that? And he's not as dumb as you think. I mean, that jock uh, persona is kind of like a little bit uh, acting, you know, this is a guy who never spent a game check. He's made over sixty million dollars in the NFL. Well, he spends nothing but endorsement money, like Tide. He uh, he has the Tide endorsement. He has the endorsement with the beef jerky and shit like that. He don't, you know, so he's well taken care of. Uh, but I just don't think it's in his best interest to come back. I mean, life is a lot of life to live after football, and 
he's living it. <laughs> and I think and I think he's enjoying it. And if you ever notice, football players tend to small, get smaller when they lose when they retire, especially the like old linemen and shit, because their diets are so crazy and their their workout regimen is ridiculous. Basketball players tend to get fat when they retire. You know, have you seen Shaq lately? Have you seen Charles Barkley? Uh, Rasheed Wallace, Allen Iverson got a little chubby. I mean, <laughs> basketball players don't have as strict of a diet and regiment, so they tend to get fat. Football players tend to get smaller, so I'm not surprised Gronk lost weight because he probably ain't eating and training as hard as he used to. He's enjoying his life, and he's happy for the first time. Why go back to that? He also said at some point in his career he was miserable because he was in so much pain. So why go back to that, you know? I think he should, he should just chill and relax. You know, he has nothing else to gain, but... Definitely, I would love to see them open up his brain when it's all said and done and see what in the fuck is going on in there. That is crazy, though. 20 concussions, five blackouts. You heard it live from Gronk.